plastic pollution has become one of the largest threats facing the planet and its biodiversity today. On an average, plastic can take up to a thousand years to decompose, choking drains and river systems, contaminating soil and water, while damaging human and animal health as well as the environment. Plastic packaging accounts for nearly half of all plastic waste globally, much of which is thrown away within just a few minutes of its first use. Globally, out of the 141 million tons of plastic packaging waste generated in 2015, 86% was disposed in landfills or incinerated, resulting in groundwater pollution and increase in emissions, causing polluted water bodies and damaged ecosystems. Dia Panel Products, a Gujarat-based company, has found a solution to tackle the plastic waste menace by recycling the multi-layer plastic, which is conventionally not recycled. With their unique technology, they convert this plastic into low-cost and high-quality building materials. They recycle single-use plastics majorly used in packaging by the FMCG and pharma companies. The collected plastic waste is carefully sorted washed, ground to flakes, and formulated into different mixtures, keeping the quality of end product in mind. Using their proprietary technology, the plastics are then processed into flat sheets called Rickron panels, with varied thicknesses depending upon the end usage. Having multiple applications across different sectors like industries, housing, furnishing, and civil construction, Rickron panels have long-lasting properties. Rickron panels use करने से उसमें cost benefit मिलता है. जो हम conventional use करते हैं उसमें जो rate रहता है उससे सामने उसका 40% rate down मिलता है. कन्वेंशनल प्लाय रहता है उसके अंदर oiling करना पड़ता है, shuttering oil लगाना पड़ता है. इसमें oil नहीं लगाना पड़ता है और बिना oil लगाए finishing मिलता है concrete का. Rickron panels serve as a potential substitute for materials such as plywood, cement sheets and metal sheets, which are consumed in millions of tons globally, while putting tremendous pressure on our planet's natural resources. In the long haul, this technology would help curtail deforestation and mining activities to meet the ever-growing demands of the humankind, while minimizing the impacts of plastic pollution and contributing towards building a circular economy. If this technology is implemented globally, it can reduce up to 9 million tons of GAG emissions by 2028.